Even those who argue that image is not everything admit that it counts for a lot. In a world where attractiveness is perceived as a key that could unlock several opportunities, more Kenyans are opening up to the idea of improving their appearances, some willing to invest in cosmetic surgery. Aesthetic surgery entails improving the appearance of, 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 of a part of the body. If, for example, uh, somebody has had uh, multiple pregnancies, for example, and uh, uh, you have been having this uh, protuberant abdomen, and you've really tried your best to, to have a flat tummy, you've gone to the gym, you've exercised, you've done dieting and all that, but still have this uh, unsightly tummy, and that has really distressed you a lot. There's a safe out procedure there called lipoabdominoplasty, a combination of liposuction and tummy tuck. Karen Hospital is one of the facilities in the country which now offer cosmetic surgery. The procedures on the rise. I certainly do about close to about 280 cases a year. Uh, that puts an average of five, six cases a week. The most common cosmetic procedures done here include tummy tucks and liposuction. Breast surgeries are also top on the list. I do about close to about 70, 80 cases a year. But the relief doesn't come cheap. Breast augmentation costs about 450,000 shillings, while breast reduction costs at least 600,000 shillings, barring any complications. 85% of those who have sought these services at this hospital were women. The numbers countrywide are unclear, as some who have undergone such procedures are reluctant to admit it. But far from being an easy road to attractiveness, the procedures are also fraught with risk. It's got to be done by a board certified qualified plastic surgeon, but not anybody else. It is also a thin line balancing between giving patients their dream bodies and fighting the idea that a perfect body exists, or that the change will bring the patient all the opportunities they desire. Image is also a lot of it here. So we counsel patients when we notice that they are okay, there's nothing wrong with them, I take them through counseling and ask my uh, counselor to talk to them. Some patients opt out after speaking to counselors. But for others, despite all the precautions they may take, the procedures may end in death, raising questions as to whether it is all worth it in the end. Wilkinson Award Citizen Weekend.